Welcome to A Vapor's Journey. I'm Jason Hughes, here at Xavier Penguin Studios, now sponsored by Move to Vapor. I want to go ahead and kind of address something. Um, I'd gotten a little irregular with my videos. Um, I'd gotten sick for a while, and then we had a death in the family, so my hope of being able to throw vids out every two weeks kind of fell apart. Hopefully going forward, now that things have settled down, we'll be able to get that out more regular, uh, have a, you know, real schedule of events, and let people know when vids are coming without this hodgepodge. Oh, by the way, new video. Uh, <laughs> to those of you who have subscribed, thank you, and you'll be getting a notification soon that this vids vid and the other reviews that are coming up. Uh, I did want to talk just for a short about what it was like to have to deal with a death in the family and traveling, you know, across the state in order to go to the funeral. And when it was me and the missus and our two-year-old in the car, uh, one of the things that I was kind of happy about is that the missus nor little miss gave me static about vaping. Uh, it was a particularly hot week, um, so the air conditioner's on, windows are closed, got the AC on recyc, uh, and of course, those of you who know, well, yes, you can fog up the cabin of a vehicle with the right equipment, the right juice. That didn't really happen for us. Uh, it'll, it, it was one of those things where I was able to make a four and a half hour trip just straight through. And that was, that was kind of a cool thing to not bother my wife, not bother my baby. Uh, I'm generally running a very low nicotine juice. And to people who say that they have concerns about vaping around their kids, vaping around their, you know, smoke sensitive spouse, this this panned out really well for me. I know there's information, disinformation, whatever you want to call it, saying that there's all these harmful chemicals in the exhaled vape. I'm not feeling it. I'm not seeing it. Uh, my daughter's alive and well and healthy. My wife, who, like I said, is a smoke sensitive. She, she you know, has an extreme allergy to it. She's not bothered. And while it's real hard to sit there and definitively say, okay, this chemical, this chemical, this chemical is in the exhale. I just don't understand how we're going for something that has four basic components of vegetable, gl uh, <laughs> vegetable glycerin, propylene glycol, nicotine, if any, and then a flavoring. How you guys are getting acetylene, how you're getting formaldehyde, how you're getting th these components that just plain don't exist in the original in the original sauce. How are, you, how are you doing that? So I would really challenge the scientific community, the medical community. Let's do some real tests from some American produced, local produced, care about the people produced, uh, vape vendors, these guys that are making juice for the people who are trying to get off tobacco and how to kick that habit. This has been an incredibly positive experience for me. Uh, <clears throat> Moving on, when we had finally gotten to where the funeral was and where uh, stress was high, emotions were high, I mean, that's any time you lose a family member, you know, regardless of how attached or, you know, uh, what's, the, what's the word I'm even looking for? Uh, estranged, as you may be. Uh, it was a comfort to me to not catch a lot of static when we were, you know, there uh, about vaping. I mean, I was respectful. I'd go outside and with the regular smokers kind of peel off a little bit. And, you know, it was a conversation starter. It was something to take my mind off and getting to tell people about how I enjoy vaping, how I'm getting to do these videos, how, you know, all like 13 of you that have subscribed have, you know, had some positive feedback for me, how I've been a little recognized as a result of doing this in the St. Louis area. And, uh, you know, I posted something on the uh, STL Vapors uh, website a while back about how I've really gotten a new group of friends, a new a new hobby that people can come together and enjoy together that isn't harmful, that could be the alternative of a cigar club or, you know, hookah bar or wh whatever, whatever your fancy may be. It's a social thing. It's a great thing. It's in my opinion, a healthier thing, and that's just, that's leaps and beyond, you know, the cigar bars, the hookah bars, and I'm not bad-mouthing you if you enjoy that from time to time, but the all-the-time smoker 
has these health risks. And you may ask me, well, why are you going on about this right now? Did your you know relative pass away as a result of uh, cigarette smoke? No. No. Well, luckily, uh, cancer wasn't involved. But uh, it does make you think, you know, how long before some of my bad habits catch up with me? How long before it's my daughter that's making the trip to come see me laying in a box? And when it when I put all that in perspective, I can't go back to some of the other habits that I had before. I can't go back to smoking. I can't touch cigars. I can't go to the hookah bar. I can't, you know, even look at a cigarette without going, okay, that's 10 minutes off my life, 15 minutes off my life, an hour off my life that I could be better spending doing anything else. So I'm going to keep this one short, but I wanted to address where I'd been, what had been going on, and the fact that, you know, vaping as a lifestyle, as a hobby, as a choice, as an alternative to tobacco, it, uh, it, it doesn't just affect whether I'm in the car, whether I'm out at the bar, whether I'm hanging out with friends. It really does touch on all aspects of my life. And I hope that as you continue on your journey, you see these positive influences, you see this you know, transformative <laughs> to use a big metaphysical word there, but you see these experiences come into your life, you meet people, you make these decisions, and you walk away a happier, better person as a result of that, if not healthier. So, for now, Jason signing off from A Vapor's Journey.